we're detectives today. How do you feel? Uh, I feel great. Yeah? Okay, great. So, uh, I don't actually know what we'll get up to today, if much, but we're going to do detective work today. We're going to, well, actually, it's, it's technically like a probationary period type of thing um, before we can become actual detectives. So, let's I'm going to sign up for this for the police tape. <laughs> you just wanted the police to, oh, hold on. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. I can't, I can't argue with that logic. Uh, we need some extra hands to have figure out what happened here. All right, so city parking. All right, cool. We have we have a call we have to go to. Let me grab my gun real quick. Um, wow, you're slow. I already had mine. Yeah, I am a little slow. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So I don't actually... Apparently, they need some extra hands to figure out exactly what, what happened. So, I mean, I'll go code two because this is... This doesn't seem like an emergency. No one's dying, or if they have, they're already dead, so... <laughs> Well, that's just brutal. Yeah, I mean, it's a little unfortunate, I gotta say, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, whoa. What the heck happened here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is quite the scene. Okay, um, we'll just pull up at the side here, and we'll see what's going on. Uh, oh, Lord. Dude, how does this... Okay, whatever. Um, all right. All right, because I'm just going to say fill me in, because, like, we, we know nothing about this, so... That's uh, a little excessive. How are we going to have two detectives on scene and they still can't figure it out already? Dear Lord. Uh, it looks like she's been murdered. Oh, well, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no warning on that one. Okay. Um, all right. Oh. So we have someone murdered. We can't get any leads on who it could have been. Well, murdered how, first of all? Like, yeah, that's what? a good question. That's, yeah. Buzz are there. Blood covered everywhere. She's laying next to her car. Window shattered. Sounds like could be drive by maybe. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was shot. There you go. Seems about right. Um, okay, you can go ahead take a look at the body. I see someone sitting over there. I'm gonna go talk to them. Um, let me know if you find anything remotely yeah, let me just... interesting. Dude, this dude is just sitting here. Hey. Uh, did did you see what happened? I do need to know. Oh, yes. Okay. Talk to me. He said, all right, come over here, Myth. Oh. Um, might have a little bit of a lead over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He says he saw what happened, so. All I saw was, you know, gunshot wounds to the victim. Several of them, actually, to the car as well. A tall man fled. Okay, so we're looking for someone who's relatively tall. We're looking for male. Um, So, we say, so it looks like sort of like a drive-by thing, then? It doesn't seem like a targeted thing. It seems like an opportunist shot. Um, it was wearing green jacket, black pants. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, so we're looking for a tall guy um, in a green jacket and black pants. I'm almost sure that it's not random. Most definitely premeditated. Are you sure? That seems like a lot of gunshots for something that's premeditated. I don't think it's random. Just kind of odd that they specifically were in this parking lot. Oh, well, I mean, like, yeah, but I mean, if they, if they were here on their own or whatever, like it, that's like prime opportunity. But of all the people on the road, though, if you wanted to shoot someone, you can just. Yeah, but it could be gang rivalry. Like, it could, could be, be something like that. It could be like affiliated with that, I guess. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's random. They were here for a reason together. I don't know if it was person targeted or if it was just like to send a message of that like it could be premeditated but i don't know if they were like looking for a specific person that's true um yeah you can see there's multiple gunshots on the side of the vehicle um yeah okay so if it was something premeditated could possibly be uh gang affiliated i'm not 100 percent sure we were need to we're gonna need to take the bullets out of the car and see what they come back to yeah, absolutely. Get those down to the ballistics lab. They are going to go check into the parking garage as well to see if there's anything down there. Yeah. I can grab some evidence bags and get these out for the ballistics. All right. Um, other than that, this guy says that we're looking for a guy who was tall, he was male, green shirt, black pants. I mean, I can't say any. I can't say that rings any bells off the top of my head, but interesting. Okay, so. We have a lead. We have a little bit of an understanding. We'll need to get all this stuff done to forensics before we can actually figure out exactly what happened or where they actually came from. Um, but if it was 
gang affiliated, it's unlikely these bullets will come back to anyone. Yeah, I remove the bullets, put them in the bags, and I'm going to get them in the back of the car, and we can drop them off to the ballistics lab when we head back. Uh, we should have the other two detectives search for any, like, hair follicles, they said anything that they like found that. a weapon. Oh? It'd be weird for anything gang affiliated. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't make sense for them to leave their weapon. So it must be something... Uh, even if it was premeditated, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like a pistol. Okay, so it can't be gang affiliated, and they wouldn't leave their weapon. That was a lot of gunshots for just a pistol. Each clip can hold... Like, how many bullets? Like, 16 bullets or something like that? Like... Well, That's true. It depends on the clip, but there's a lot that can that can hold a lot of bullets, so I guess it does kind of make sense. And I mean, like, if you actually look at the bullet holes, they don't look heavy or anything like that. Like, they don't look large. Yeah, I mean, it could be from the pistol. We'll have to get, like, confirmation from whatever comes back in the lab. But it does, it does seem like it was premeditated. I'm going to start agreeing with you on this one because, you know, random parking lot with them parked just here... Like, you know, it's just, just something doesn't add up about that. Clearly, we're looking for a very disorganized killer. He left his weapon behind. Yeah. Or it could be someone who, it was, or it could be premeditated and they, like, one of those, like, immediate regret things. Where you just, could like, be you throw your weapon and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I just did something like that. It wouldn't be the first time. I mean, that's true. Or we could just be dealing with one of those that think they're smarter than the police and they're just using it to antagonize. I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll need to take. We'll need to get uh, forensics on the the weapon and the bullets. Yeah, we can collect that weapon and take it down to see if there's any like matches for serial numbers or anything. Yeah. Um, if it's, if it's it. someone who's like a first time killer, which honestly this kind of seems to be, there's no real uh, like pattern to the way they did anything. It looks like they just came and started spraying bullets. Yeah, they don't. They didn't really have an mo, and there was no yeah. ritual behind anything. So. I'm thinking that maybe, like, it was just, like, an altercation that took place and then things went a little too far and they regretted what they did. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And uh, if that's the case, then there should be, a, it should come back to an actual serial number on the weapon. Which makes it a little bit closer. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to call down DOT. We'll get uh, a truck down here to deal with the, the vehicle and get it, that up to... All right, so once this vehicle's out of here, we can take the evidence bags up, and we'll... I think they already got moved the body, so I'm sure that'll go up to uh, yeah. 11. They'll figure out exactly what's going on with that as well. That's being uh, transported to the city corner mm -hmm. right now for an autopsy. Yeah. Which I think we already know, but you know. Mm -hmm. Um. So once we get these guys, this vehicle out of here, we'll take these bags up, we'll get the forensics done, we'll figure exactly what happened. Um... And we'll try and understand. Whoa. Why is he driving like that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is very sporadic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God, dude. He's just oh my not. God. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God, dude. He just rammed into the scene. What are you doing? Dude, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Come on now. What are you doing? Oh, my. He just. Where did that. Co oh, did he get a cop? Oh, my God. He had, like. Several people, I believe. Jesus, I was driving. Nah, 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 nah. That's not driving. That's not driving, dude. Absolutely not. That's, no, that was. That's just plummeting to a scene. Yeah. You got a call to come do your job, not kill people for Christ's sakes. Oh my God. Okay, this dude. He like. What a moron. Oh my God. Oh, okay, this guy like, is unconscious. So. Just put, okay, let's just get this guy to. Get out of here. Hands hands up, dude. Come on. Get your, just put your hands up and don't move. Okay? Just just get them up. We'll get you off the scene. Okay, okay. Follow me. Alright? We'll question this guy away from the scene a little bit. I want him away from the truck. Come on. There we go. Okay. Listen, man. I'm just a DOT driver. You're just reckless. That's what you are. Jesus. Very reckless. Right, like, he's been flying in here from the main road, too. So... Over here, okay? Just just go stand there. Okay, can you get these cops to uh, let off? We'll, we'll talk to this guy. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'll tell them to get back. All right, you guys, you guys need to back it up. Back it up. Okay, um, all right, look. What the hell was that, dude? Because that that is not good. His arms are starting to hurt. Well, I guess just too bad. You get when you crash into a crowd of people. 
Are you gotta get that was reckless, dude. That was reckless. You hit people. Like you 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 hit people, you like <sighs> legitimately injured people with the way you you got in here. Like that car appeared that was the car you were called here for. <laughs> oh my god. He's lucky that he only hit one person. Like he could have killed several. Oh, absolutely. I mean he he almost hit us, for God's sakes. No, sir, that ain't me. Right. Okay, so like what what a twin? Like I mean it literally was. We saw him get out of the car. Like, yeah, no, it, it definitely was. Like, sorry, I need to put words in his mouth, but this is absolutely ridiculous. I ain't gone to siblings. So, it was you then. Oh, my God. This dude. Uh, uh, how is this guy so stupid? All right, look. We'll take you to the station, okay? Let's let's take him down to the station, and we'll question him there. Yeah, for sure. I, I want some to proof. see some proof. What about the massive dent in the front of your truck and the one on the back of the car? I mean, there's at least, you know, five or six dash cams on this scene, so, really. If he wants to do that, then sure. Bro, this is ridiculous. Okay. Alright, let's take him over here. Let's just get him in the the back of my car. Because if we can get him in the back of my car, then uh, we'll get him down to the station. We'll get him moved. What do you cuff me for? What do you think? I think there's a legitimate reason. Look, this dude will question him at the station. I don't know what that was, but that was extremely reckless, extremely dangerous. Could have got people killed and literally hit someone. Make sure you que you give him his rights before you question him. Otherwise, he'll pull the card of, you know. Yeah, I, don't worry. I'm not going to question him until we get to the station. Hey, man, I'm just doing my job. I don't see why I'm getting arrested. Being detained. For the time being. You're not being arrested. Okay. Okay, look. We'll talk to this guy. We'll I'll try and get an understanding of why he came flying in there. And then we'll get back to the actual case. Because uh, now we have two things on our plate that we have to deal with. All right. Yeah, not uh, ideal. No, it's not. I, I wanted to go home at the end of the night, but I guess that's not happening. Here, look. You can get him at the back of the car. I'm going to go inside and get some stuff ready. All right, I'll get him.